Good morning. My name is Savon Lewis. I'm a native New Yorker raised in the Bronx. Growing up, I lived with my mother, my father, four brothers, one sister, and two of my cousins in the Monroe Housing Projects. We didn't have much money, but when I was a little kid, life wasn't too hard, at least in my opinion. My dad worked as a mail delivery truck driver and made just enough so that my mom could stay home and take care of the seven of us. Daycare wasn't exactly an option. My family was close, not just because we lived on top of each other. <laughs> there was always love and support, even with minimal means. We never felt like we had a lot, but we always managed to scrape by. Then one day, 13 years ago, my dad was driving on a nice hero and lost control. The truck flipped over and he nearly lost his life. He would have died if it weren't for an off-duty medic driving right behind him. This man stopped and saved his life. It's still hard to think about. The fear of losing him was so intense. He suffered a severe back injury and was told he would never work again. But he survived and I was relieved. My mother still had seven kids to care for and no job for herself. So after that, the only income supporting our entire family came from social security and workers comp. We relied on food stamps and other assistance to get by. We struggled to get food, clothes, school supply, and other necessities. Then they took the food stamps away. After that, it was even more of a challenge. And Christmases and birthdays, forget about it. But my family stuck together and supported each other. Still, it wasn't easy. Growing up in the project is just like you hear on TV about drugs and gangs, and a lot more that you don't hear. We had to walk past gangs to get to school. But even when things were most chaotic, I was able to keep my grades in the 80s, 90s, even 100s. So I thought I was all set. Things at home were getting harder. Prices kept going up, but you don't get a raise when you're living off disability. My plan, get a decent job and help my mom and dad. But I didn't know how to go about it. I didn't know where or how to look, who to ask, or how to put a resume together. There really, there really weren't many options. In all that time, my best job was at a grocery store, working part-time hours and making minimum wage. I felt embarrassed and defeated. But one day, that changed. You see, I am vicious. And I wanted more for, my, for me and my family. I wasn't about to give up. I had heard about this place called Prescolas, a program that would train me and give me skills and help me find a job in IT. I actually thought it was a scam at first. Too good to be true, but what did I have to lose? I called, applied, and was accepted. The program was tough, the training rigorous, starting with the basic foundations. Where's the motherboard? Where's the RAM? And then we move on to data recovery, virus removal, networking, and cloud computer. I learned so much. There was even a class called Life Skills. I learned about the mindset you need to bring to work, how to prepare for interviews. I developed self-confidence. My parents have always done their best, but our financial realities worn over our basic needs. Most days, I live through the whole school day off a bagel or a pack of cinnamon rolls from the vending machine because they only cost a dollar. That's hard to admit even today. Our teachers, they knew where the students came from. They helped when I was hungry. They bought me a Metro card to get to my interviews. They even bought me a suit to wear on those interviews, tailored and everything. I still love that suit. <laughs> I remember wearing it to an interview for a 10 week desktop support internship at Newberger Berman. I was nervous, but I was equipped. The interview was tough. The place huge and everyone was so nice and cool. I wanted that job and I got it. That was three years and two promotions ago. When I started, I was making $10 an hour. Today, and this is difficult for me to admit out loud, but I make more money than my entire family combined. I show up on time. I'm a team player. I bring a positive attitude. I say yes to any work you need me to do. I want to work. I want to succeed. And you know what? I'm good at what I do. Today, things are very different for me. 
I have my own place in New Jersey. I have my own car. I give back to my family. And I know the family I hope to raise one day will grow up in a safe area. I'm 26 years old. This isn't the end of my story. It's just the beginning. Life is good. And I'm sharing this today because we need more companies like Newberger Berman willing to partner with more programs like Pascolas to make sure that the talent that I know exists within our communities is being reached and opportunity made accessible. That's why we are here. And I'm looking forward to the rest of the day and hearing more about what you all are doing. Thank you. Thanks so much.